Good morning. Thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm CB Cotton. And I'm Brian Sanders. Let's get right to our top stories. The CDC is expected to vote this morning on recommending a third dose of the coronavirus vaccine. The FDA authorized those booster shots last night. It would be for people who are high risk or immunocompromised. The booster shots will likely be available at pharmacies and doctor's offices. Health officials say other people who are vaccinated will also likely need to get a booster shot. And CDOT warns rain today could cause a delay in opening I-70 through Glenwood Canyon. The interstate is expected to partially reopen tomorrow. I-70 has been closed for more than two weeks when mudslides damaged the road. The goal is to have it fully reopened by Thanksgiving. The Broncos wrapped up two days of practice against the Minnesota Vikings in preparation for Saturday's preseason game. Drew Locke is expected to start at quarterback, but Teddy Bridgewater will get some playing time as well. Kickoff is at 2 tomorrow afternoon. Our Broncos insider Troy Rank is in Minnesota with the team. He has three things you should look for in the game coming up at 5. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. And some good news on this Friday. We're looking at some clearing skies. It's not going to be as hazy today. In fact, a, a nice improvement to end the week. Still under an ozone action day alert, though, for the northern front range. But those alerts have really cleared up across a good portion of the state. It's going to be a warm day, a little cooler than yesterday, though. We'll be likely in the mid to upper 80s this afternoon, and there will be a better chance for some scattered storms and showers. Denver right around 85 to near 88. We'll see up and through the mountains, more 70s than low 80s today, and a touch cooler. Everything pretty quiet on satellite and radar this morning, but scattered storms and potentially some pockets of heavy rain are possible this afternoon.